Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today we have a special day. We're gonna eat some food. Are you ready? Okay, so we're uh, heading to uh, Oku of Charlotte right now. Uh, I'll kind of go over a little bit of what Oku is in a short bit, but first, let's go ahead and park. First time somebody's been driving my car other than me. Okay guys, we are here in Oku of Charlotte. Uh, this is uh, pretty much a Charleston-based company that came into Charlotte, North Carolina. We're actually gonna try this out. We're gonna do the omakase for tonight, so it's gonna be pretty good, super excited. And uh, yeah, we're gonna try out Oku. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and hop inside. I guess we're gonna do the omakase. Yeah. Omakase? Leave it up to us. Trust us. Yeah. Trust you. Trust chef. Well, I'll leave one menu on the table here. Okay. I'll leave the drink menu. Okay, guys. So we're we're inside now. We just ordered our omakase. So omakase is basically when you sit at the sushi bar. You just kind of trust the chef to make whatever for you. So it's kind of like a, a leave it to the chef or a leave it to you to uh, you know, make the food. So first off, I just want to give a huge shout out to uh, Oku for allowing us the opportunity uh, to just really come in and dine with the first class experience. Uh, so if you didn't know, the uh, Oku Charlotte is actually based from a Charleston, South Carolina company called Indigo Road Hospitality Group, which was founded in about 2009. Oku of Charlotte restaurant was actually inspired by the sister restaurant in Charleston, South Carolina. A lot of the ingredients they receive are actually from different countries, such as Tokyo, uh, some of the Scottish salmon, as well as uh, areas like Hawaii. Uh, we just got our waters, we got our uh, wasabi and ginger ready to go. Now we're just getting ready to get our food. Uh, now today we actually went with, uh, instead of last time where we did individual nigiris, we actually went with the omakase meal, um, which uh, is basically whatever the chef would like to give us. Let me, uh, let me just say hi. Okay, so we have... Chef Michael. Chef Jesse. And then over here we got our... Uh, chef Bo. How's it going? Good good, 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 good. Welcome to Oku. Thank you for having uh, dinner with us tonight. Thank you. Okay, so first course is here. Um, our snow crab and medai, so chef and snapper. Oh, okay. uh, there's some yuzu tsubiko. Um, pick the cucumbers and then we're good. It's over by the daikon. Oh, thank you. So this right here? Pickle cucumber. Pickle cucumber. Oh, okay. Oh. That's good. Ooh. I like that. Snow crab. You don't even need sauce on that. You don't even need sauce on the snow crab. Flower edible? Yes. Is it? Yeah. What type of flower is this again? That's a orchid. Orchid? Okay. Oh. Oh, that's pretty cool. Pickle cucumber. Oh, that's good. It's a good starter, right? The spicy pickle cucumber, with like before the little sour one, the spicy. That's good. I like how you put the order of it. It's real good. That's a uh, pickled daikon. This has like a vinaigrette dressing on it also. It's got like a vinaigrette dressing. Yeah. Ponzu. Okay. Ponzu. Oh, okay, okay. Ponzu sauce. That's good, man. The snow crab too, man. Good yeah. flows. Snow crab is really flavorful. It doesn't like, like there's no crabbiness to it. Yeah. That's cool. It's very fresh. Yeah. Where do you get the snow crab at? Where's the snow crab come from? Yes, Alaska. Oh, Alaska snow crab? Okay. What's the name of this fish again? 
Uh, Mad Eye. This is the Japanese red snapper? Yes. Okay. <laughs> My personal favorite. Snapper. I like how we get the chef's favorite. I like that. That's good. The, um, the vinaigrette just really flows, and then the daikon, after you eat it, it's, uh, it's just really fresh tasting. Very good. So that is the first meal of the omakase. You're not going to eat your flour? Uh, does it taste like, what does it taste like? Like flowery? Tastes flowery. <laughs> This one's the Akame. It's got uh, mint, berries, and some leche juice. Oh. This one is our uh, cherry yuzu soda. The, uh, the cherries, the yuzu soda. <laughs> okay. Right. Thank you. Uh, how y'all enjoy this? Very good. Awesome. Delicious. I suppose I should probably use a straw. Oh. It's like a very refreshing soda. Mm. Wow. That's good. Yep, those are our spirit free cocktails that we're now offering non alcoholic so you can get like oh. drunk off that. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. You get sugar wasted. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no alcohol in this. Wow. That was really good. It's like a dessert in a way. Nice, yeah. You want to yeah. try this one? Very good. That one's really good. Is that pomegranate in there? Sweet. But this one's sweet. This one's sweeter than that one. Yeah. That one's really good. Though. Go. I like that one. Wasabi and crusted tuna. It's got the, uh, some pear jelly, uh, a little shiso leaf, and some cilantro aioli. Oh, thank Very you. Good. Thank you. Oh, that's good. That's real good. Thank you. Oishi. Oishi. Oishi, man. Am I saying it right? Oishi. I love the um, the mix of this, this little bit. It's like a little hint of spicy in there. Yeah, the wasabi. Yeah, yeah, that's good. It works real well. Is it, what's the green on there? Shiso. Shiso. Okay. Very good. Make sure you eat the ginger afterwards. Every time you uh, finish a meal, like one fish, you you cleanse your palate with the ginger, right? Okay. Ginger is kind of to reset your palate. Okay. It's like cleanses it, gets ready for the next meal. Yep. Is that so? You don't have a mix of flavors. You don't want every every individual experience experience to be different. Okay. There you go. So you want to eat ginger after each different course, so that you can cleanse your palate. So we have uh, fresh wasabi. Okay. <laughs> wow. Dude. Yeah. It's sweet. That's crazy. I never knew that. Yeah. You don't get that nasally. I've never had that before. 
Man. It's good though. You compare that to that. Oh, it's landslide's different. It kind of has like a sweet taste mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, wow. It's a shimaji. The sheets are some fish leaves, some sea salt, and some uh, koshu. Our uh, sabo with some ginger, um, salmon belly, and then a the yellow tail with uh, a little serrano pepper and olive oil. Thank you. Thank you. The, um... So is that soy sauce on top? Yes. And then my white fish is pongo. Pongo, yes. Okay. All the other fish. And again, with the, uh, you want to eat from left to right, so the lighter the fish, the less oil, so you can experience all the way through. The heavier oil is on the end. That's why you would eat it last. Okay. What was that first one? Uh, put the leaf on there. That was uh, my dad. Okay, that was my dad. I just prepared a little bit different. That was, that was with, really good. With mint leaf and yuzu kosho, a little yeah. bit of salt. I can really taste the yuzu. Uh, That's yeah, that yuzu is really good. I didn't see you until just then. Macro? Macro? Look at that mackerel. That mackerel is good. We cure that in house too. Oh yeah? yeah. Gets a little salt and sugar bath for an hour. Yeah, yeah. And we marinate it in our sushi vinegar. Really good. Okay, salmon. What kind of salmon is this? That's actually the Scottish salmon, it's the belly. Oh, so is this the one that you imported? Yes. Oh, okay. From Scotland? Oh, wow. That's like Toro. <laughs> It just, I, I didn't even have to chew, it just melted. Salmon Toro. Wow, that was good. Yellowtail, Hamachi. Oh shit, this one's recording, right? <laughs> what is that? It's a Japanese toy. Oh my goodness. Wow. So if you don't know what Kobe beef is, Kobe beef is actually marbled beef, uh, strictly from Kobe, Japan. Sushi cone. Sushi ice cream cone. Let's go. Thank you. You're welcome. You got a lobster, some red beets, asparagus, a cilantro aioli, black volcano salt, and chai. Thank you. Lobster tamaki. I like to think of it as a sushi ice cone. <laughs> <laughs> you bite the top of it and you eat the rest of it. Oishi. Oishi. So I'll probably we got some um, scallop, uh, some ama ebi, some karagi with jellyfish, uh, shima aji, and some uh, otoro. Okay. Ama ebi, karagi, uh, scallop, shima aji with some ginger on top, and some otoro. Thank you. Thank you. Scallop. I'm a heavy, the mint leaf. Yeah. <laughs> Head, Jesse? Yeah. The shell off or with the shell no, off? Like the, whole the whole thing? Yeah. Like a potato chip. Shrimp head. <laughs> Very good. Decoration cucumber. This is good. Ah. Good job. Yes. Any tuna? Oh, yeah. The 
fatty tuna just melts in your mouth. You don't even have to chew it. This is the meta. White Chevrolet. White Chevrolet? It's in the macro family. Okay. Yeah. White Chevrolet. Get the same ones or you only have football. Oh, yeah, I should get that one. Out. I like the sweet one. Thank you. So far, everything is really good. Uh, Jada's been. Jada's not really like that big of a big sushi eater, but she's actually eating everything. So I'm really surprised that she's actually eating everything in there. I'm really, really excited that's happening. How's everything, honey? Is it good? How was the fatty tuna? <laughs> kind of like me. He's putting truffles and gold flakes on top of the sushi now. I'm curious to see what it looks like. Oh, so wow. these, yeah, they have a uh, little gold leaf yeah. on the top that's kind of flaking. Uh, so this is uh, two pieces of the, uh, the A5 Wagyu. Okay. Uh, Chase truffle and you see a gold leaf kind of thing on there. And these two are uh, like a fried potato with a little uh, uh, wasabi, which is like a little wasabi, some cilantro. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Uh, come here, beef. little gold flakes on top of it. They're moving. Check that out. This is a fried potato. Yeah. Good. How do you like the potato flakes? That was awesome. That did not take long at all to finish up. Janet's killing it too. Some uh, tofu, some wakame, and uh, some onions. Thank, Thank you. Miso soup. Yeah, that is a that's a good way to end it. Yeah. Oh really? Oh, okay. Come on now. The miso soup is really refreshing way to finish up the meal. It's really light, it's good flavor. Kind of like a good amount of salt to it too. And the tofu is really fluffy. Super good. Everything so far is amazing. What do you think? What? How is everything so far? It's good so far. Yeah? Everything's good so far, yeah. Everything? So the next thing we're gonna give you is a Toban uh, Wagyu. We're gonna, it's about an ounce of Wagyu. Some thyme, sea salt, and some truffle butter, and he's gonna. Well, actually, she's gonna take care of it for you. Okay. And all you gotta do is eat it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a hot plate. Well, it's very hot. So, soy truffle butter. Okay. Here we go. So good. You really don't even have to cook it that long because it's so tender and thin. And you just put it on there, sear it, and then eat it. It's kind of like a rare steak. Steaming hot. That's really good. 
so like milky. Mm -hmm. The flavor too, man. What kind of butter is that? Truffle butter. Okay. It's sizzling. You hear it? Listen. As soon as you eat it, it just like falls apart in your mouth. It's like we had three different types of toro tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you got the salmon, the toro, and then you got the kobe. So good. Oh, and the yellow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I highly recommend trying that out if you haven't done it before. Are you guys like the first one to try this though? Uh, the first oku or the first first restaurant? I have no idea. I've never seen it before. That's cool, man. Thank you. It's really innovative. I like that. Yeah, it's like, it's a really good experience because it's coming literally right off, like a sizzling plate anywhere. Some passion fruit sorbet. Oh, wow. Some berries. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Just when I thought you guys couldn't do anymore. That's good, man. That's really good. Very good. Yeah. Super sweet. Super good. Made in house, fresh, and gluten free. Perfect, man. It's like everything works together. It's like it's like a completed puzzle when you put it, you know what I mean? It's the last piece of this puzzle. It's good, man. It did. Yeah, you guys just like, I'm like, man, how can I get over that? Uh oh. <laughs> oh, I guess, uh, I guess this is it. I can't go back to normal food now. That was awesome, dude. That was like perfect really way good. to finish it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, guys, that concludes our meal. Uh, a plus. I gotta say, 100% A plus. Service is great. Food was awesome. Definitely a lot of variety here. Omakase is probably my favorite thing out of anywhere so far. Restaurants. Y'all <laughs> <laughs> say Michelin star? 